Hey everybody, welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. I'm Chef Andy and today we are reviewing an e-juice and it is put out by Evo and the flavor is Purple Tundra. There you go, check that out. Cool, huh? It is high VG with uh, 3 milligrams of nicotine by volume. Before we unbox this, I'd kind of like to explore the box a little bit. On the back, I'm going to read to you the flavor description. I'll uh, put it down in the bottom too. I'll do that as well so you guys don't have to go back through the whole video to get to it. It says, experience an avalanche of intense icy mint flavor that rivals the Arctic with a gratifying great finish. A profound flavor of purple tundra delivers the best of both worlds, combining bone-chilling menthol with the sweet and tangy taste of ripe Concord grapes. What? Oh my goodness. All right, that excites me a whole lot. And I'll tell you why. The tundra part. Uh, I went to, I was in the military, in the Navy specifically, and went to a boot camp up in Great Lakes, Chicago. Once you come around that that uh, that uh, side of, and even around to the Buffalo side too, um, but when you get up into Wisconsin and Minnesota, they have what they call the the frozen bush or the frozen tundra. A lot of great ice fishing up there, even through on the other side of Canada and in Alaska as well. Uh, you have those frozen lakes and, and what they call the frozen bush, frozen tundra. Basically these swampy lake area, areas that are frozen. Uh, just known for great, great fishing, great uh, fish restaurants, all that kind of stuff up there. So that excites me. Um, takes me back a while because I'm in my mid-40s and I went in when I was 18. So that's a pretty good chunk of change time ago. Uh, also... Anybody that knows me knows that I love, 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 love grapes. Grapes. Love them. I don't care if it's grape drink, grape juice, grapes, white grapes, Concord. The only thing I don't do, and it's not because I don't like it, it's because I have diabetes, so I don't really drink wine. But my wife is, is, is the wine lover in this family anyway. Uh, but I like a good pairing of wine once in a while and a, a, a nice little swish and smell. So that really excites me. I'm, I'm really, really excited uh, checking this out. And isn't that some nice packaging? One more time. Purple Tundra by Evo. High VG and 3 milligram by volume nicotine. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what we got. Indeed. And first and foremost, I, I bring up the good packaging because consumers buy what they see first unless you have something out in the open to taste test or smell test. Uh, so the first thing a consumer does is sees. Okay. And I like what I'm seeing and I like the packaging. It, it says that the company cares a lot about their packaging, uh, it, making sure that you get the product to you in, in good shape. Um, well, this is kind of cool. Um, you know, I don't, I haven't really seen this much uh, on other bottles. This might be one of those new FDA things that has come out. But we have a best use by date. Let's see if I can get it in there. Good enough. Sorry if I can't. I guess you'll have to trust me on that one. December eleventh, two thousand seventeen. So, yeah, best sell-by date. I also like that I see the, uh, the uh, little ring around here that you have to snap the cap off just to make sure that you're not opening up a product that's been tampered with. Another good sign uh, of packaging. Oh, wow. Definitely has a smell that it says. Again, uh, I, I think that I, I've said this in plenty of my videos. I'll, it bears repeating. Uh, after a customer sees things, uh, 
next, they smell things way before they even taste things. That will hold true in any culinary experience that you've ever had. When it comes to your table, you first see it. That's why plating is so important. You smell it. That's why the, you know, the, the smell is also so important. It's part of that experience. And I find that um, in the e-juice world, uh, both of those, I think, play a part as well. Mmm. All right. Um, let's put that down here a minute. I have, speaking of Arctic that was on the box, I have my Arctic tank we're going to be using. I love these tanks for my kind of generic around the house tanks. Um, I have in here a sub ohm coil, uh, 0.2. So we're going to have some good old fashioned tasting there because it'll burn properly. I'm what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to prime this coil and the cotton down here. And the reason we're doing that is because I don't want none of that nasty burnt taste. I want this, the cotton here to be soaking up that juice. So when I take a couple inhales before hitting the fire button, um, we can pull that through and uh, we don't get into those, any of those nasty burnt yucky 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 tastes. You know, the kind that make you change your actual coil. It has, it has happened. Um, and me, I'm a bonehead sometimes, so I forget. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm squeezing for all my life here. <laughs> the, the bottle is small. And uh, I got big hands. I'll make the reference again. I said this in one of my other videos, or a couple of my other videos. I feel like Tommy Boy, you know, with the big hand little bottle. It's kind of like, fat guy with the little coat. Yeah, that. <laughs> uh, all right. I think I've got it pretty much filled up there. So you can see up to the little line there. I'm going to go ahead, cap this back off again. We are going to put the coil down in there. I'm going to make sure this is good and tight. Believe it or not, this is one of my few occasions where I have not any spillage. But, I'm going to wipe it anyway. Anytime you have any hand sweat or anything like that, make sure you wipe your surfaces and everything that you use down. Um, just in the off case there is any cross contamination with any other chemicals or smells or taste, something that might be an influence on this so that you get a, a proper uh, tasting juice that it was meant to be. Um, also so you don't contaminate any of your other products making them not useful or something that could get somebody else sick even. Uh, that holds true if you work in the culinary industry with your salmonellas and all that other good stuff. Um, again, you'll probably hear me use a lot of these references to places I've been, smells and tastes, and working in the kitchen, or even working out in management in corporate America, because those are the life experiences that I have to draw on. And a lot of times, those were really good memories for me. And uh, so you'll hear me reference them a lot. And uh, I never know which is the first video that any of my people will ever watch here on my channel. So I tend to draw on them a lot. Um, okay. I'm, a, I'm letting this soak for just a minute. I am also using uh, my Cherry Bomber. It's a mechanical. Yeehaw! And I've got some really good batteries rocking in there. Some, some, uh, I think those are, <clears throat> now I'm just all turned around. Uh, those are 2500 ma, uh, 35 amp hydrain. <clears throat> so, we got some good juice in there. I really like mechanicals a lot. I really do. Um, I think um, it's because when my grandfather was alive, 
uh, me and my cousin, the two oldest of all the grandkids, he has beat me out by about seven months. Um, he had us two boys all the time with him. Um, underneath cars, he was in uh, uh, antique car clubs and I remember growing up with tools in our hands and I think it's the tinker a aspect of it. I think that's what it is, is being able to tinker. Uh, I can really control this. It, less likely to break down and again it's just being able to get in there and enjoy the experience I think that's probably a carryover from that time again one of my good experiences alright what I'm going to do is the fire buttons on this side I've got it set in the right position but we're going to take a couple inhales without hitting the fire button the purpose for that is thus the reason why we primed everything is so that we can draw some of that uh, e-juice through and we don't get that burnt smell and taste uh, from a dry fire that has none of the juice on it because we want that to evaporate and have a good experience nothing will ruin it better than not taking the few extra steps to to prime it and take a few inhales in other words take a few suctions without hitting the fire button if that better sticks in your brain whatever it, it's I'm tired. It's been a long day. Urgh. Not really. I've only been up a couple hours. It's cool. It's nap time. I'm in my 40s. It's, I think I... Okay, I'll get back to it. Right off the bat, I'm getting the minty. Not so much the grape yet, but I'm getting the minty. The minty... Yeah... Now, growing up, I grew up a lot at my grandparents' house, and they had sprigs of mint growing, so I had a lot of good uh, experiences with that. We, we learned a lot of farming and growing and stuff like that. Um, I smoked for 20 years, about a pack a day, and although we had sprigs of mint and all that stuff, I was never a menthol smoker, so I'm kind of on both sides of the coin on that. I've been tobacco free for over five years, uh, and I love mint when, especially like ice cream and stuff like that. Um, let's go ahead and try one, shall we? I always take little hits at first, especially if, so that the uh, if any comes over into the dripper, I don't get those gargles, you know, when they get all hot and pop up at you, when I've forgotten to clean it beforehand. Like, okay. Mmm. Okay. I'm getting the, uh... The mint is popping me right there, and it's not, I'm not even mad at it. It tastes good. I'm going to take a few more, because uh, I'm just now, it's like a subtlety, or like a little subtle drip after the mint hits you, like pow, in a good way. Um, now I'm starting to feel that little, little grape, a little grape there. I'm feeling it. Hold on, let me take a few more. Come on. Yeah. You see all that smoke coming, or I mean the vapor coming back at me because I got a fan on. It gets hot in this little studio with all the little lights and stuff. See? Ah! I forgot the umbrellas on it. Sorry, my bad. Yes, I was right. It's like pow with the mint, that, that minty thing going on. And then it follows like a little chaser right behind with that grape. Mmm. Yes, yes. And it's not overpowering, don't get me wrong. The mint's not overpowering. It's just it comes out first and it's like poop. And then 
you feel that kind of slowly going down as it as the juice hits you right there. There and then the then the grape is coming through. But I'm even struggling to find my words. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. My bad. It's almost like they, 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 the mint wants to go up into the sensory areas up here, and then the grape is what's chasing down here. And you can kind of get it in, in two different directions over here. It's really, it's really nice. It's not, uh, it's not overpowering, but it gives you just enough punch. But I like the grape on there because grape uh, is, is, is a great flavor enhancer for almost anything and by itself it's one of those things uh, have you ever tried this when you you have uh, like let's say just grape kool-aid and you put it in the fridge and then you put some other kind of drink in there it's almost like grape tends to run a little cooler even if they're at the same temperature grapes t it seems like it tastes colder a little bit I think it's just the the vibe on that that uh, it's one of those it's one of those flavors and chemical if you will that tends to just feel a little bit cooler than it than it does uh, and it's coming through in this kind of experience right here it really is let's let's take another one and roll it around shall we oh yeah all right, this time I'm filling it up on my tongue. I'm going to roll the tongue back. Yeah, I was right. I felt it underneath the tongue there. And the mint. Mmm. It's, uh... Whew. Even my nostrils are opening up and I can feel that. Mmm. 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 Yeah, this is a really, really nice, well-blended flavor. Uh, once again, it's called Purple Tundra by Evo. It is high VG with 3 milligram nicotine by volume. And I really, really dig the uh, packaging and the sale by date there. I really do appreciate that. Um, as a consumer and uh, hey wow you know if, if you in any way like mint and grape and you like mint and grape this would be just super I can see myself uh, on this like my everyday type of vape you know what though this one here I might actually have like this reminds me of doing like a brunch with a mimosa and vaping some grape and, and mint. Or it could be dessert. I'm not quite sure, but I'm sure going to find out. Let's take one more and then you know what time it is. We're going to be out of here. All right, let's, let's check it out. Hey, later.